7th of March. That was the first attempt. I have been dreaming about this couloir since the first time I came to Chamonix. From Petite Wilbert, I witnessed the beauty and the wilderness of this space. I thought nobody would dare to climb such a monster wall. I was wrong. I was not aware of the history and reputation of this space. It's not a 4,000 meter peak, almost. But like the Eiger, the adventure and the challenge don't come necessarily with altitude. I had been training the whole autumn and winter season to prepare for this phase. This route, I should say. There are many routes I would like to climb on this phase. But this route, the North Gulag Direct, that is the route. A straight line, very steep, that joins the couloir through an overhanging exit, up to the difficulty level M8. I felt ready, and as soon as we had a good weather window, we set off for this expedition. Just check the meteo, the meteo is good. It's as expected, it's going to be like minus 10. I'm taking the boots and, and all the big bag, the sleeping bag. A big, a big down jacket, ice axes, crampons, climbing gear, ropes. In winter, the approach is rather easy from Grand Monte de Le Cabin. We can descend a gully that gets to the Namblan Glacier. And from there, there is a short ski tour to the base of the wall and the Bivak place. That's the theory. That day, however, we got surprised with the gully that was completely on ice. We just had an incident and we both slipped there. We are both okay, but uh, it's a bit shocking, eh? The following week, I learned that I broke a rib during that fall. Mama. We built the be back at the bottom of the face to start climbing straight away the following morning. Jolly! Bastian and I, we are gonna have a romantic night here. Yeah, yeah Bastian? <laughs> we had a spin drip falling on us the whole night. And despite we built a hole and walls to protect, we barely slept the whole night and were wet and cold in the morning. Those are not the conditions to engage in such a route. And with a lot of disappointment, we bailed, not even having started the climb. Three months later, after COVID-19 lockdown, <laughs> bailing is hard, especially when there is so much planning, training and time invest on a route. But bailing is an option to consider. Whoa! We already take a lot of risk when everything seems just fine. When things are not going that well, the risk might be more than what we are willing to take. I would like to think that experience tells us when to bail. But that's not the only thing. It's also related to self-awareness and self-confidence as well. Being honest with ourselves is key to know our limits and accepting the conditions as they are and without pretending they are better than what they actually are. Decision is made. We are not going that way. That looks pretty, pretty dangerous. And wet slab with heavy backpacks and with the, with the boots. We don't want to take the risk. This is generally straightforward. In this period, the approach strategy is different. Instead of taking the telecab into Grand Monte, we can reach the VBAC from Montenberg, 
without having to carry the skis. In the end, we did the whole detour through Shahpua, which took us six hours and a half. That was a long day, but it was okay. We are the Divi of the Drew, and tomorrow we will climb the North Kurwa direct. And this is where I am going to sleep tonight. It's a fantastic place because I've got a roof and we have all the gear here ready for tomorrow to basically wake up, have a quick breakfast and start the route. We also left a bit of water already boiled, so tomorrow morning we can start having breakfast pretty quickly. That night I slept better than at home. 2.30 in the morning was the wake-up time. That was early, but the sunrise was also early because that was the shortest night of the year. The day didn't start very well. There was no regel because the temperature was rather high and we struggled to move across the snow fields. It was easy climbing but unfortunately, there was not much to protect. The ice was not strong enough to place ice screws. That was basically climbing solo. The, the approach was a nightmare. And after the, the remade, it was quite easy actually, but hard to protect and we couldn't find the anchors. There is so much ice that the anchors, they are all hidden. So we had to improvise a little bit with not really good anchors. We simul a little bit. The initial section looked gorgeous. Soon we reached the gully. What a gully! It's a scary to see how steep it gets. Gorgeous! It's 7 in the morning and we are at the beginning of the difficulties. Just look at this. Spectacular! Bastian was so motivated that nothing would stop him. Yes! Machine! What seemed like ice was actually snow and soft ice that would fall apart. Ale, ale. It took him a whole hour to climb that first pitch, M7. Come on. Come on, that's good.
Ali. That was not easy. The snow had to be clinked, hammering with one axe axe while holding on the other one. Keep it going. Whether the ice axe would hold was uncertain, and the decent protections were scarce. The second pitch followed the same pattern. It was easier in difficulty, but it was like free soloing. Would that sketchy ice screw I placed 10 meters below hold? I don't think so. No? I have a blue agosh. I let go to see Satyan. No? I Satyan, no see. Just don't fall. Concentrate and don't fall. And the other one is plus. Voilà. Après, tout de côté. The third pitch followed exactly the same pattern but it was even worse. The ice was not strong enough and the rock was covered on a thin layer of ice, making it also impossible to dry tool. The climbing didn't feel that hard, but looking up, we couldn't see anything to protect. Not the ice, not the rock. We both tried and realized that the conditions were not correct. Hard climbing, bad conditions, no protection is not a good combination. The risk of falling was high and the consequences of a fall were severe. That was a risk we were not willing to take. It was not worth it. Like most alpine routes, the descent was not as straightforward. We couldn't find the anchors, so we were forced to improvise. We ended up digging in the snow to find some ice and place some avalacops and put our trust to test. I'm disappointed but I am proud as well to have decided to bail. We pushed as hard as we could, we enjoyed two beaches, and we got back home safely. I will definitely be back. And next time, I hope to share a video from the summit. Have fun in the mountains and stay safe.